the American League storylines of the year, and it's a balanced league. Uh, you know, the NL's got a, a lot of teams with not a whole heck of a lot of hope to begin the year as far as being a postseason contender, Pirates, Reds, teams like that. You know, the Diamondbacks, Rockies. American League, not as many. So from that standpoint, you're better off. Oakland, obviously, is not going to make the playoffs. Baltimore is still a long, long way off to be making the playoffs. I mean, Kansas City brings Bobby Witt in, but, I mean, does anybody think the Royals, who last year won in the mid-70s, they're going to jump to 90? They're probably not going to bank the playoffs. And I don't like what the Indians, what they really didn't do. Yes, Francona, and they can pitch a little bit, but not a lot going on with uh, the Guardians. I apologize. So from that standpoint, those four I would throw out. But everybody else in the American League has got a fighting chance. And especially if you look at the American League East, that's a heck of a division. All four teams are competitive. The Red Sox need some pitching, but you know the Red Sox are the Red Sox score. They can hit. The Yankees are the Yankees, and they need pitching, I think, too. But, you know, and they light, line up a little right-handed, but with Stanton and Judge. And I know the, I go crazy in the Yankees year in and year out, which gets me in trouble. But Donaldson, shortstop, can field. Torres maybe a little better. Rizzo still sitting there, LeMayu. I like the Yankees who have, you know, they'd be in the mix. You know that. Toronto, that's everybody's favorite flavor of the month. I got to see more. A uh, little bullseye on their back. You know, they're young. You know, they're arrogant. Nothing really bothers them. And they have a pretty well balanced team. 91 wins last year. But again, expectations. Let's see how they handle that. And of course, the Rays are the Rays, despite the trade of Austin Meadows. White Sox, you know, the Lance Lynn's an injury here. We got to keep, uh, uh, keep an eye on. But the White Sox are the White Sox. You got to figure with their offense, they should be in the mix to win the division. This is not a good division. Uh, Twins and Tigers, Twins don't have a lot of pitching. They improve their team offensively, but they can't pitch. The Tigers have a little bit of everything, and they make the trade today. So those two teams should be around 500, you would think, in the American League Central. And then I think the intriguing teams are in the NL and the American League West. Houston's still Houston. I got to see them not win before I'm going to pick them to not win. And then the Angels in Seattle. Texas should be a little better. Uh, and there's something I'll have hope if you're a Ranger fan. That's why I didn't put him in the original four, because, of course, Texas brings Simeon in there with C. So I'm going to leave Texas out of that Baltimore scenario with Oakland. But, I mean, they're not making the playoffs. They can't pitch. But, I mean, uh, listen, the scenario with the Angels and Seattle is very interesting. Seattle, 90 wins last year. They probably are not going to win all those one-run games like they did a year ago. But, uh, they, they, hey, they, the kid made the team out of spring training, which is great to see. You know, they bring Robbie Ray in. They make the trade with Cincinnati. A lot of juice with the Mariners. And, of course, the Angels with Otani, Trout, Rendon, Syndergaard. There's a nucleus there. It's top-heavy. Uh, the first baseman's good, but there's a nucleus there of having a pretty good team. So the Angels are a very interesting team to me. Seattle's trendy like t Toronto. But in the American League here, to get to the six spots, you know, you're going to have to be pretty good. I mean, you got the Yankees, Tampa, Toronto, and Boston. You know, you certainly have the Angels in Seattle. And then you got the divisional scenarios, too. So you got about 10 teams for the six spots. If you look at, say, three in the American League West, you know, at least the White Sox, maybe another one, and then a four, of course, in the American League East. So you're in a situation there where it could be interesting. Now, you know what I'm going to do? Just to bother everybody, I'll take the Yankees to win the American League East. Uh, I would like to go against the White Sox because I do not like their pitching. Their bullpen's overrated. But I don't know where I'm going to go if I don't take them to win the American League Central. I got to say, Detroit had a good second. They were 68 and 61, but still, I'm not ready. Minnesota's got Sonny Gray and who, mo who knows who else, uh, you know, uh, leading that rotation. That's major problems there. Uh, you know, and Seattle's trendy, and the Angels still are, you know, uh, a little top-heavy. So, I mean, you got to take the Yankees to win the division. I'll take them one. I'll take the White Sox two. And I'll take Houston three, based on what I just said with Seattle and the Angels which leaves a wild chase for the three wild card spots. I got to take two of those teams out of the American League East, and so I'll take the, uh, the Rays. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't like the Rays. I'll take the Jays, and I'll take the Red Sox. Uh, Cora, they can hit. They make a move. I don't like their pitching. Maybe sales second half. But I'll take the Toronto and Boston to be the wild card teams out of the American League East. And I'll take the Angels. And I'm throwing 
dart, I'm throwing darts at a dartboard, but I'll take the Angels to get out of, uh, to make the playoffs first time in eons, I'll take the Angels. So the Yankees, White Sox, Houston, Angels, Red Sox, and Blue Jays to make the playoffs. The two big, uh, make the playoffs. The two big omissions would be the would be the Rays down in Tampa. 90 and a half is way too high with their over-under, by the way. One of these years, these bullpen arms are not going to be that great, and their offense is going to catch up to them. And uh, Seattle, trendy makes me nervous. Everybody's loving them. Uh, you know, last year they won all these close games. Not going to do that again. I'll go down on Seattle, down on Tampa in the American League.